I think that when people f have experience with stigma, um, certainly when it comes from their own selves and their own, you know, beliefs that have been, you know, in entrenched in them over the years, uh, it's hard for them to feel that they are worthy of, of getting the help that they need. In Newfoundland, Labrador, you know, not unlike a, a lot of provinces in Canada, stigma exists within healthcare um, centres, uh, within justice centres, uh, education centres, that people are denied access to treatment because of their substance use issues. And as a result, people are hindered in their recovery uh, because of their lack of access to treatment. I think the Brain Story does a great job at helping, uh, first of all, individuals who have uh, issues themselves or their family members, because it helps people understand uh, why it is that they may have a substance use disorder. And so it really looks at how early experiences influence the circuitry and the chemical balance of how our brains are actually developed. Things like toxic stress, and when we think about that, we think about things like neglect and abuse, living in a household with parents who have maybe a uh, mental health or an addiction. And the research shows that if we have these experiences, we're more vulnerable to addiction. And that once we're more vulnerable to addiction and we get into addiction, then those brain chemistries are changing even more. Learning about the brain story can help people have that compassion for people, that this is like a disease, like any other chronic disease, that it's not people's fault, this is uh, not a choice that they've made. In the province of Newfoundland and Labrador, we have been working to educate policymakers, educate people who are frontline workers, educate the individuals we're working with who are dealing with addictions so they can step up out of the shame and understand that they are not responsible for where they are. We have a great uh, story of a uh, community in Newfoundland, a rural community of 2,500 people where we have uh, put a, a new opioid dependence treatment clinic in place at the local health centre. And it's for the first time some of the people who are coming to the doors you know, now that they're accessing that treatment, you know, they're getting their first pap smear that they haven't had, haven't had in years because they're being treated with such respect and care and compassion that they're getting other health care needs done. And once they feel that, okay, I am being treated with such respect and regard and people care about me, that they're willing to start taking care of themselves too. So it's a great success story. And I think it's the brain story in action in some ways. There can be change and there can be this hope around change. So if stigma shifts and people can start to talk about their experience, then we can start to help them support them to make that change. And they can in then internalize that story for themselves in a different way, create new pathways, and it can make a difference for the next generation.